I don't think this con is going the best. So everything's basically almost set up. I still need to put up the fairy lights, but I am running late and it's about to be open. Uh, I changed this. I put them more outward facing, so hopefully more people will like notice them and like it'll catch people's eyes. But so far, pretty cute. So today is August 26th. And today is the first day of Fairfax Comic Con. Um, I am sweating because they haven't turned on the AC yet. And I was like setting up and I was like so wetting. It was so bad, but I'm okay now. I was a little late at setting up, but I, I made it just in time. So I don't know how the show is going to go. I kind of just signed up because I'm local and I was like, mm, might as well, you know, but it's kind of not my audience because most of my stuff is like cute cats, anime, so we'll see how I do. Uh, I'm excited though and I'm excited to see how this is going to go. My spot is like right next to the cosplay competition or the stage or whatever. So. I don't know if that's good or not. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. So we'll see. But yeah, let's go. Yeah, I almost forgot to say, I'm cosplaying as like Umaru without the wig. It was so hot, so I didn't put on my hood yet. But they turned on the AC, so I think it'll be okay now. But Ooh. Also, they give you a badge as an exhibitor. But they said it's just for aesthetic and the wristband is what you get you in. But I hate the wristband because like then you have to sleep with it, you have to shower with it, you can't take it off. So annoying. Why can't we just use this badge? I don't know. That is still a big difference between just doing that and going all the way through the room. So day one was definitely a bit slow. Uh, I made back all my expenses, which was only the table cost because I was local, but definitely a lot of other people were saying the same thing. And this was a Saturday of a two-day con, so you'd think this would be the busiest day, you know? But because it was slow, I had a lot of time to eat my snacks and stuff. I made these onigiris at home with like spicy tuna in them, and they were really good. So I got these sheets of seaweed that already come in like the plastic wrapper. So like you make your rice ball and you wrap it in the plastic wrapper with the seaweed, and then when you're ready to eat them, you can just peel the plastic wrapper off because if the seaweed is touching the rice during transport, it gets soggy, but this way, like, the seaweed just stays really crispy and nice. But this is how they wrap them at Japanese convenience stores. I was really excited to see a way that I could do it at home by myself. Definitely recommend this as a convention snack. I guess the one thing good about this con is that the hours are quite reasonable so I still have energy to go do things like I use it my weekend you know but otherwise I don't think this con is going the best I'm fortunate enough to have very little expenses so I am making money but it's kind of slow and the other people I talk to they all say it's pretty slow so eh, it's okay we'll see how today goes the con's gonna go from 11 to 4 today, so it's not too bad. I get to pack up, go home, eat food, so see how it goes.
So Sunday was even slower, unfortunately. But one thing that really didn't help was the main stage being right next to my booth. Because Sunday was the cosplay contest. And while it was cool seeing all these cosplays, it basically clogged up the entire like walking area of my booth. Pretty much while the cosplay contest was going on, I was making basically zero sales because nobody was walking by anymore. It was like way too packed. And when people were trying to get by, they were trying to move as fast as possible just to get out of the crowd. I mean, it sucks, but it is what it is. You can't really choose your spot. Hopefully next year, the con will like adjust where these booths are because this is not really the best place. It was 3 o'clock. It was one more hour in the con, so maybe there'll be some last minute sales, but I don't know. Hi! Hey, how are you? So Fairfax Comic Con, let's start off with the good things. Uh, good things, I did make money. Again, my only cost was the table cost and I guess some gas, but I was in a pretty privileged situation where I didn't have to get a hotel or anything like that. So I definitely made my table back and some profit. My expectations weren't super high since it wasn't 100% my audience, but it was definitely a lot slower than I thought it would be. But everyone was really nice. Um, one guy came to my booth and was like looking at my bottle openers. And this was Sunday, so I was going pretty slow. I was kind of <laughs> feeling a little bit dejected, but he was like looking at my bottle openers. He was like, hmm, I'll just take one of each. I was like, really? Like. For real? It's like, yeah, I just I just can't choose, so I'll just take one of each. It was like over like a hundred dollars and I was uh, that totally made my day. If that was you, like thank you. It really <laughs> So the cons for this con. Uh the table price for a regular artist alley table was $157, which I thought like maybe it was a bit high since there was a lot of empty tables still. I feel like they could have lowered the price a little bit and they could have filled those tables. But also, I felt like maybe there were just too many tables in general. Like, I didn't have a lot of time to walk around the convention since I was by myself. But based on this like footage that I got from walking around earlier in the day, there was just a lot of empty tables and just rows and rows of tables. And I felt like there might not have been enough attendees to really warrant that. But I think this is still a good event if you're local. I wouldn't drive over an hour for this convention. I definitely wouldn't get a hotel for this convention. Again, this is a comic con, so if you have more mainstream focused stuff, I think you'll do well. I just hope the convention maybe reduces the amount of tables that they have. It felt like a little bit too much. Um, but the hours are really nice as a vendor. Basically, the hours went from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. So you still had like your whole weekend if you did this convention. I know some conventions, they go like late into the night and you're just like so tired. So you have time to like grab food, grab dinner afterwards, and it's still pretty chill. So I think that's a pretty good pro for this con. But otherwise, would I come again? Probably if I'm not doing anything better. I only live around 30 minutes away, so it definitely wasn't a big commitment for me. But overall, a pretty chill time. I don't have too many complaints for myself. My only big complaint is my table placement, but that's something I just can't control. Being between the arcade and the main stage definitely was wearing down on me just from noise alone. I could just hear all the buttons clacking and the people talking on the mic. It was definitely driving me a little bit crazy, but it's okay. It was definitely a slight detriment to my sales, probably. <laughs> my next con is gonna be NecoCon in Hampton. So if you're gonna be there, come stop by, say hello. But otherwise, thank you for watching watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!